Don't. Okay. Okay, it, it goes... How much is Ninetail doing to Machop? So much damage. What's up, Internet? And welcome to another installment of the Pokemon Gold Hardcore Nuzlocke. Now, the rules for this series are essentially that we can only catch the first Pokemon we encounter in each area. If a Pokemon faints, this counter is dead. We have to nickname all of our Pokemon. Uh, we're in set mode only, so we can't switch out in between Pokemon. Um, we can't use any items in battle, including potions and X items. And we can only use Pokemon with a base stat total of 400 and under. So, if you guys are ready, we're going to hop in, take on Mahogany Town. But before we do so, I'd like to ask you guys very politely, if you may, um, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, like the video, drop a comment down below. And also, subscribe to my film channel where I post weekly film reviews. So, without further ado, let's... Uh, Let's um, hop in and see what the see what the crack is in uh, in the rocket hideout. So the not fun thing at all about um, the rocket hideout is that there's so many battles, and I can't let Chrome Dome um, over here get over level 31. I can't let anyone on my team get over level 31 because of the level cap. Uh, so this is going to be um, not particularly not great. The good thing though is that the trainers are insanely weak, so we're not getting a whole lot of experience from them. Though those wild Pokemon. Oh, uh, what did I do that for? That, that is, that was... Okay, uh, we're probably gonna have to heal up then, because that was far too close. We're gonna have to be super sneaky, avoid all those trainers, and see if I can remember how to get through this the quickest way. Okay, so Chrome Dome is level 31, which is fine. He only, he, if he's level, if, if he gets to level 32, that's when our problems start happening. But he's level 31, which is fine for now. Rocket Executive fight. This should go swimmingly. Um, as you can see, I, I've changed using Graveler because I, I really, really don't want Chrome Dome to become overleveled because he is definitely the key to winning this uh, gym fight. But me is is doing, I guess, decently. Uh, uh, another Rocket Executive fight. This one I'm actually really scared for because almost our entire team is is getting up in levels. So this isn't this is must might not go well. Oh no! Oh no! Whoa! Woo, we did it. Get in there. That, that, that actually went a lot easier than expected. I'm back spamming B so muscle doesn't evolve. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Oh, I forgot about... No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to do all the electrode fights. Oh, this isn't going to end well. Okay. Right. All the electrode fights have been beaten. We. The next thing, of course, we need to do is take on Price. So everything should be fine. Now, obviously, price is a bit difficult because um, of ice types and whatnot, but you know. So, unfortunately, um, Boulder Man leveled up too high. Uh, um, me did, but that's fine. Um, we'll just replace him with our other Graveler Conk because why not? Well, I don't know if we really need Graveler. I might take a look and see who we can bring, but we'll have a team, and the next thing we're going to do is take on price. So my never-ending stupidity, I gave um, Conk the Everstone, thinking it would like it would like, you know, it'd be the smart play to do. Not realizing that oh wait, I can actually use a Graveler. So we now have a Geodude, but it's fine because we probably weren't ever going to use him anyway, as um, all of Price's attacks are super effective against him. Oh well. Okay, here we are for the Price fight. Um, I think the strategy of leading Chrome Dome is the obvious one. I think it's the right one. I think if we leave lead lead Chrome Dome, um, and then Thunder Shock basically until do, um, until we've killed Duke. I mean, I'm assuming he might go in a Pylo Swine straight away um, after Seal. In which case, we go into um, Muscle. Though the Blizzard is terrifying, but that would be fair. He can't. Is Pylo Swine can't really hurt um, Chrome Dome. So maybe we can do some shenanigans there. Um, okay, it's resting. I'll just speed up. Cool, okay. We're level 32, which doesn't matter because we're in the gym battle, so the level level cap is now invalid. Okay, Dugong comes out, in which case we are quite easy just to click. Supersonic. My phone, for some reason, okay, Google just activated. Nice. Don't know how that happened. Um... <laughs> Okay, yeah, we can just Thunder Shock one more time. Okay, Pylo Swine comes out. So my immediate thought here is, what if we just go for a Sonic Boom? 
What's this thing gonna do to us? Not a Sonic Boom, I mean a Super Sonic. I wanna see if we can land Super Sonic. What does Mist even do? Does it stop them from getting stat decreases? Let me look that up. Mist. Pokemon. Because if it's like Safeguard, then... Yeah, yeah, okay, it's stat changes. Okay, so if we go for a... Uh, um, keep going for Super Sonic until we hit. Okay, so now it's confused. So now I feel vaguely confident going into Muscle. Um, at which point we can... Hopefully... I'm assuming it's going for a Fury Tag. Okay, it hurts itself in confusion. Perfect. Now we can go for... Will this thing outspeed us? What's, um... Pyloswine... Wait, actually, I have it up here. Pyloswine has base 50 speed. Machop has base 35 speed. So it's worth just going for... That is speed, isn't it? I'm looking at the right stat. Yeah, it's speed. So it's worth just going for a vital throw anyway, because it'll just outspeed. Okay, it hurts itself in confusion again. We vital throw. Hopefully this kills. It doesn't quite. We can now just go... Okay, he goes for Hyper Potion. That's fine. We should be fine. Um, if we just go for a Karate Chop, that should knock it down into the range where... Yeah, okay. Another Vital Throw. We'll go for a Karate Chop. Just, I guess, I don't know, to be safe. I don't know how it's pretty being safe. Okay, we got very, very lucky there because he hit himself in confusion three times. But that's what we're talking about. Absolutely perfect. I will happily take um, an extra two. I just need to have spam B so that nothing evolves. But okay, sixth badge gotten. Next up is Jasmine, which um, scares me, but we should be fine. Delivering a secret potion to Amphi because we're nice and stuff and whatnot. <laughs> oh, fun fact. I have no freaking idea what to do against this guy's, against Jasmine's Steelix. <laughs> If we just had one thing that could, like, both take hits and then use Surf on it, we'd be perfect. But I don't really want to go in there with our only proper defense, like, offensive on it being Machop. Oh, God, this is going to end poorly. Fun fact, Jasmine Steelix has Sunny Day. Why the hell does it have Sunny Day? That doesn't really make much sense, but I do have a strategy. Now, it may look um, like, from the Pokemon I have on the, my team, what's the strategy? Why are you bringing Flaffy to a Steelix fight? Why are you bringing a Psychic type? And be honest, the Psychic type's kind of, like, you know, Drowsy's kind of just there, I guess, maybe on an off chance we can Hypnosis. Um, Flaffy is there because we can maybe Growl. Uh, every and same Bellatrix, um, the Butterfree is there, so we can maybe Sleep Powder and whatnot. Everyone kind of has a purpose, but my plan is to take down the first two Magnemite with Graveler, which should be no problem. Um, the Steelix, I guess we'll get to when we get to. It's a bit more of a, of a tricky situation. Okay, so first Magnemite, we can get Magnitude. It's a bit more of a tricky situation. Its moveset is Screech, Sunny Day, Rock Throw, and Iron Tail. Um, so immediately it doesn't have any Ground-type moves, which is probably best case for us. Okay, here it, here it is. Oh, well. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to go straight into Chrome Dome. Yeah, because if it doesn't have any ground time moves, it can't really touch Chrome Dome. What's it going to do? Iron Tail? Yeah, I thought so. Um, how, well, how much is that? That does a vaguely decent amount. Now we're going to go for a Super Sonic. We land it. Perfect. Okay, it's now confused. Hopefully it hits itself. It does. We're going for a similar price strategy, in which case now... We're going into um, into muscle, and we're just going to keep hitting. Don't okay, okay. It, it goes. How much is Nine Tail doing to Machop? So much damage. <laughs> so much damage. Okay, maybe let's rethink this strategy. I didn't expect it to go to for Iron Tail. I'm being honest. I thought we maybe could start going for Screeches. Um. Okay. Maybe our best case is to go into Chrome Dome. No. Just going for Iron Tail. Chrome Dome is... What's uh, Steelix's speed? What's Steelix's speed? 
It's 30, so we outspeed with Machop. Do we have another Machop? I don't remember. Can we get another Machop? Is this something we we have easy access to? Um, because if we have, have another Machop, I, 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 you know, I'm happy to risk it. Uh, where can you get Machop in this game? Okay, we we could maybe get another Machop down the line, but not for quite a while. So I don't really want to risk losing it. We're gonna go to Chrome Dome. An ideal world, it hits itself here. It's confused no more. Okay. Uh, it misses Iron Tail, though, which is still not perfect. Okay, we miss um, Supersonic. It goes for a Screech. Okay. Right, let's go for another Supersonic. Hopefully, it hits itself. Well, we should be able to live uh, Iron Tail, even if it manages to hit one. Okay, it hits itself. Um, now, we want to go into... Hmm. What is neighbor's defense like? Where is 39, 48, 54? Okay. That's not very pleasing to see. 46, 66. Okay. Can you paralyze an electric type? Probably not. Uh, not an electric type, but a ground type. Okay, we're gonna go for a sonic boom. I wanna see how much that does. I wanna see how much... Okay, 28... Stop not being confused. How much is this gonna do? This is gonna do quite a lot. No, it doesn't. Okay. We can go for another supersonic here. Okay, we miss. Please don't hit. It hits. Okay, that's not good. Okay. Right, doesn't get a crit. Um, we now pivot... We now go into Sean. It'll start going for Iron Tails now. It'll start going for Rock Throws, which we can play around. What's Graveler's base speed? Okay, Iron Tail did a decent amount. Um, we can definitely live a Rock Throw, though. Why am I searching up Graveler? Graveler. Uh, Graveler should outspeed. In a best-case scenario. I want to know, can we Pokemon Paralysis... Can we Paralyze... Um... Crit Iron Tail shouldn't kill either, I don't think. So I think we should be fine no matter what. Can we paralyze? Ground types can't be paralyzed, but not by electric type moves. What does that mean? Bro, what does that mean? Um I don't know if wait, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna straight up look up. Wait, I need to move my controller. Okay, you can't use Thunder Wave on a ground type, which is not ideal. What we can do, though, is use Growl. <laughs> so, obviously, we have two Gravelers, right? I want to see if it starts going for Rock Throws. I want to see if it starts going for Rock Throws. Please start going for... No, it's still going for... Why the hell is it still going for Iron Tail? Okay. Um, how do we kill this thing? Do we kill this thing by sacking something off? And um, then letting either Machop or Graveler come in and out speed? Well, we can definitely kill this thing. I'm, I'm just, it's just determining who we can lose and who we're willing to sacrifice. I'm willing to sac... Maybe this, maybe the play is me. Maybe me is the play. Can we live? What's our defense? 93. What's our um, speed? It's 41. Chrome Dome outsped, didn't it? So what's Chrome Dome speed? 42. Yeah, yeah, yeah we should outspeed. Um, right. In an ideal world, we come out of this fight only having lost our Graveler. Its attack is one stage down. Perfect. Okay, we now go for magnitude. And hopefully and it, hopefully this kills. I don't think it will. Okay, it doesn't. Goes for Screech. It misses Screech. Okay, Hyper Potion. Hyper Potion. That's, I didn't account for that. That's not, that's not great. Magnitude 8. Hopefully brings it down under half. It's going to go for another Screech. We outspeed. So we should be able to kill this thing without any deaths. Are you kidding me? 
And it misses. Okay. And we got the magnitude 9 uh, on this turn because, of course, we did. Okay. Right. We got lucky again in that fight. But I think, I think we played that well. I think we played that well. Okay. It's, it's wild to know that the... Oh, I mean, we haven't even won yet. But one more magnitude should knock it out. It's wild to know that the Growl essentially clinched it. From a... Obviously, we... Not entirely, but the Growl meant that we could, um... Take a... We could take two Iron Tails. When normally we wouldn't have been able to from the looks of things. So, that's really good. That was kind of just a lucky bet on my part. But okay, it's perfect. Get in there. No deaths. And we only have one gym left of Johto. Get in there. In what world are we going to be, Claire? Where, like... Her, um, bloody Dragonairs are all the exact same, except they have a completely different elemental move. How are we supposed to beat that? So, I know it's, like, the new hotness to, like, talk crap about Johto, but it is wild how we're, like, this late into the game, and these grunts have level 23 Rotatas. <laughs> like, that's just... Uh, yeah, the level curve here really ain't too hot. Another Rocket Executive down. Easy, easy. I don't think anything from this rocket hole that should like shebang bang will get anywhere near Steelix, but like you know, they can try. They can do. They can try their best. Oh, oh! I forgot this was a thing. Rival fight. Hello, hello. Let's uh, get you open and let's remember that you actually do have a uh, for alligator this time. Okay, right. This should be this should be interesting. I'm not at all prepared, so you know, whatever. Uh, this is a risky play, but we are five levels higher, and it's... Yeah, okay. What? I can't believe that didn't kill. Okay, well, we might as well start getting prepared for his other stuff, so... Let's just send out Chrome Dome. You can just, um... Somewhat evolve... Yes, there we go. Terra's life apart, Chrome Dome. Who's coming out next? Magnemite. It's a Magnemite versus Magnemite Brawl. Technically, we do win this, but then we can also just go into... Into, into me. And just, um... Just drop a fat magnitude on... I mean, it's only a magnitude 5, but it'll still kill. A fat magnitude 5 on this guy. Demolished. Ooh, for alligator, you're so scary. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, for alligator, please don't hurt... Oh my god. Please don't hurt me, for alligator. How come every single time I manage to completely and utterly underestimate for alligator? I think this is my new superpower. I love how little damage we're doing. Come on. This is great. How did this Frally get to stay asleep this entire time? Like, this is one... This is one tired boy. Like, ha... What? Is it just me, or does that Sneasel look shiny? <laughs> like, with the blue? I swear it's not supposed to be blue. I swear it's, like, red. It looks so... Sh oh, I love it. It's so pretty. No problem at all. Easy win. <laughs> Easy win.